What's going on everybody man? It's your boy Architect Nash in the building with back again with another video. Alright. I got something important that I want to ask, man. And it's been weighing on me for a while, right? So, first of all, I love what HBCU football has become so far since Coach Prime has been a head coach for Jackson State, right? He wants to put names on back of jerseys. He wants the MEAC to, to combine with the SWAC to conform a super conference. And I think it's dope that he has ideas on what he wants HBCUs to become, right? Cool. My thing is this. I think that they should keep the SWAC and the MEAC how it is. It's a, that should stay a conference, number one. I, I don't think, me personally, I don't think it's a good idea because if we want to bring HBCU football dominance the way it was back in the day, why should we combine conferences to make it one conference? I think it should all be the swag and the MEAC, like all in one, I think it should be that way and we should do something else with it. So I oppose this. So, we had the Celebration Bowl since 2015, right? It's between the SWAC and the MIAC, right? And, mind you, those, it's the only bowl game that has two FCS teams. So, only bowl game that has that, right? So, they consider that the HBCU Championship, right? And like, well, to 99% of the people who watch HBCU football consider that the HBCU championship. I would assume so. So if they consider that the HBCU championship, how come Hampton and Tennessee State ain't involved? Because last time I checked, they're HBCUs as well and they'll never get a chance to participate in it because Hampton is in the Big South and Tennessee State is in the Ohio Valley co uh, Conference. And now, you know, shout out to North Carolina a and and I pray they do well in the Big South, but now they won't get a chance to compete in the bowl game because they're in a different conference. And another thing that I should bring up is that the CIAA and the SIAC will never get an opportunity to compete in that bowl game because they're not Division One. So I oppose this, right? You know, we want to bring HBCU football back to dominance, right? And the way we do that is that we attract eyes, right? We have to we have to create something that will attract more people to see what's happening in the HBCU world, correct? Right, so I think that there should be a playoff to go into the HBCU championship game. I think that the winner of the SIAC, the winner of the CIAA, the winner of the SWAC, and the winner of the MEAC should play a playoff game. I think those four teams, it should be a tournament style playing to play into the HBCU championship game to really find out who's the best HBCU football team that year. I think it should happen. I think it's been too, you know, the CIAA and the SIAC has been left out on too many occasions because they're, because they're division two. And I believe that, look, we don't know what the CIAA and the SIA could bring to the table, cause check this out. If anybody was paying attention this weekend, Miles College, who, who in the SIA, lost by one point to Alabama State. Um, Bowie State damn near made a comeback against Delaware State. Me personally, I think that that should be something that people should look into, honestly, because how can you 
only involve the swag and the MEAC and call that the HBCU Championship game and the CIAA and the SIAC ain't involved. I realize that the SWAC and the MEAC will probably never move up to the FBS world. Hope, I mean, hope, hopefully it does. And hopefully that will be the case. But as we stand right now, why does it matter? Honestly, because it's all about HBCU football. I can give a fuck about the national championship game because we don't give a fuck about it. Honestly, it's all about HBCU football at the end of the day. And the, the way we can make it more fun, we can create more eyes on HBCU football is to create a playoff style tournament to get into the HBCU championship game. Honestly, you know what I'm saying? And I say that because, you know, look, in 2012, Winston-Salem State was dominant. So much so that they made it to the Division II championship game. I remember back in 2007, 2008, Shaw University for the CIAA was absolutely dominant. You know, so look, you don't look, and I believe Bowie State could compete with any Division I HBCU team this year. They had the talent to do it. And look, and Miles College plays against Southern University this weekend. And if they can keep that game close, like they did against Alabama State, we're gonna have to start, people have gonna have to start asking themselves, how good is Miles, is Miles College really? So look, I think, I think people should really think about that, honestly. I think there should be a tournament style play-in to get into the HBCU championship game. Look, maybe five years from now, seven years from now, that's fine. Look, I'm loving the Celebration Bowl. I will be at the Celebration Bowl this year, God willing. But yeah, man, I think that should happen, honestly. I think people should think about it, at least.